Hello, welcome to the video on adding and subtracting fractions. This is our fourth example set, example set D. And what we're going to do here is evaluate these expressions using the following values for A, B, and C. So you can see here that our expressions, our first one is A, B, or A times B plus C, and then our second one is A plus B plus C. So we can't do anything with these expressions as they are, but if we're given values, for example, A equals one half, and b equals two-thirds and c equals four-fifths, well, what we're going to do is replace these variables with these particular values and then work the problem. That's what it means to evaluate. And then, lastly, if we have any um, answers that are fractions, we're going to make sure we write them in simplest form. In other words, we're going to fully reduce our fractions. So let's go ahead and get started here. We'll take this first one, a, b plus c. So remember, a, b means a times b. So we're going to plug in our values, and when you're doing that, you always want to use parentheses to enter in the values um, assigned. So a is equal to one half. So notice here I'm putting a one half um, around parentheses, or excuse me, I'm putting parentheses around one half. So we're going to multiply that by b. That's two thirds, and then we're going to add that to c, which is four fifths. Okay. All right. So what do we do next? Okay. Well, this is just a quick review with order of operations. Remember, we're going to always do multiplication before we do addition. So we have to do this part first. So we're going to get one half times two thirds. So when we do this, this becomes two. And we're going to just multiply numerators and denominators. This is going to be one times two or two over two times three, which is six. Okay, then we're going to add that to four fifths. Okay. All right, so obviously we have two different denominators, and when we're adding fractions, we need to have common denominators. So what is the lowest common denominator? All right, so all of you should be thinking about this. Six and five, what's the lowest common denominator? Now remember, the lowest common denominator is that lowest number that both six and five divide into. So if you're still shaky about how to find the LCD, you really, really need to go back and master that. This is key to adding or subtracting fractions. Okay, so the lowest number, or the LCD, would be 30. Okay, the lowest number that both of these divide into. Okay, so now what we have to do is rewrite each of these fractions such that their denominators are 30. Okay, so here, our first fraction, we'll have to multiply both the numerator and denominator by 5. Okay, so that would give us 10 over 30. And then the second fraction, we have to multiply the numerator and denominator by 6. So that would give us 24. All right, so now we have common denominators. And all we have to do is simply add the numerators. So 10 plus 24 is 34 over 30. Okay, so are we done? Well, that's certainly correct. But remember, we want to write these answers in simplest form. Okay, so 30. Let's see, I can divide 2 into 30, that's 15, and then 2 into 34, okay? And if you're not sure, if you want to do this stuff in your head, you just get a calculator, that would be 17. Okay, so 17 fifteenths is our answer written in simplest form. Okay, so let's move on to our next problem. So our next one is A plus B plus C. So let's just go ahead and write out the fractions here. So A is going to be 1 half plus B, which is going to be 2 thirds, plus C, which is 4 fifths. Now, here I'm, I'm using parentheses, and with experience you'll say, you know, I don't really want to write, write these parentheses, and that's okay too, but that comes with experience, and I don't want to already kind of break my rule by using parentheses when you're evaluating. You know, I can do that, for example, because I know when I really need to, but, you know, if you, when in doubt, just always use parentheses when you're substituting in, in your values. And over time, you'll figure out when you really need to use them. Okay, so one half plus two thirds plus four fifths. All right, so what do we need to do here? Okay, so we're just adding all these fractions up. Well, what we're going to have to do is find the lowest common denominator. So once again, what's the lowest number that both two, three, and five go into? So if you recall, when we're talking about how to find the LCD or the LCM, the lowest common multiple, the lowest number that both 2, 3, and 5 go into. Now, these are all prime numbers. So the lowest number is going to be, okay, drum roll, 
<laughs> so if you want to think about it for a second before I say it, go ahead and maybe pause the video. All right, so the lowest number is going to be 30, right? So you can see here 3 times 5 is 15. 15 times 2, that would be 30. Okay, so what we have to do now is rewrite all of these fractions such that they have a denominator of 30. Okay, so this fraction 1 half, 1 half written um, with the denominator as 30 will be 15 over 30. Now 2 thirds, what do we do here to get 30 as a denominator? We multiplied both the denominator and the numerator by 10, right? Because 3 times 10 is 30. So 2 times 10 will be 20. Okay, now if you have any questions about what I'm doing, we want to go back to those more basic problems. And then last but not least, this last fraction, we multiply both the numerator and denominator by 6. So this would be 24. Okay, so now we have common denominators. So all we have to do to get this answer is add up all of our numerators. Okay, so this would be 30, or excuse me, 15 plus 20 plus 24, all over 30. Okay, so let's go ahead and actually do that. I'll, I'll do this by hand. So 15 plus, 15 plus 20 is 35. And then we got this 24 here. So let's do this real quick. So this would be 9 and 5. So if I did this right, this would be 59 over 30. Okay, so this looks correct. I feel good about that answer. Now one thing you want to do is obviously see if this answer is fully simplified. So let's go ahead and start checking particular factors. So 59, now 59 looks to me to be a uh, prime number, okay? Now we can check that by just maybe start, there's rules of divisibility if you know them, but you can just start dividing by particular factors. 59 divided by two certainly is not gonna work. And 59 divided by three is not gonna work. And let's try seven, 59 divided by seven. That's not going to work. So guess what? 59 is prime. So 59 over 30, that's it. That's your simplest form, your simplest uh, fraction that we can write our answer in. And that's it. Okay. So once again, just a more review, more practice on adding, um, adding fractions. We're doing a little bit of order of operations and evaluating just to make it interesting. So keep working hard. We'll see you soon.